all aboard the kleptocracy tour. Our guide, Russian anti-corruption activist Roman Borisovich. Previous tours have focused on Russia and the Middle East. Now Nigeria is in the spotlight. Our goal is to stop the avalanche of dirty money that is pouring in, into the real estate in the UK and particularly into central London. Organisers of this tour claim that London is at the heart of international money laundering, a place to easily hide and spend astronomical sums of cash. And where does a lot of that money go? Into London's lucrative property market. We passed a $3 million property recently seized from Nigeria's former oil minister, Dazani Alison Madweke. It's one of several apartments owned by Madweke in London, gifts allegedly from Nigerian businessmen seeking oil production contracts. She's under investigation in both Nigeria and the US. And this property near Hyde Park, owned by a family of Abdul Salami Abu Bakr, interim military leader of Nigeria in the late 1990s. He's accused of dodging taxes and siphoning state assets. Uh, number 10, Many of the properties we pass are owned by high-profile political and business figures who struggle to explain their wealth. Most allegedly bought via shell companies based in offshore British tax havens. The more layered the financial setup, the harder it is to trace exactly where the money comes from. There are 40,000 land titles in London that are owned by companies based in secrecy jurisdictions. So that means when they bought those land titles, they didn't even have to tell the land registry who they really were. So the land registry doesn't know, the police doesn't know, uh, the local residents don't know. And that makes it really easy for corrupt individuals to steal money abroad and park it in the UK. On a visit to London, Nigeria's information minister told us that he believes 55 people are responsible for stealing $6.2 billion from the Nigerian Treasury between 2006 and 2013. If only one third of that money was returned to the Treasury, it would have built 600 kilometers of roads, that is seven hospitals, 20,000 housing units, and would have been able to train 4,000 you know, children from primary school to university level. It's a side of London few will ever see. A tour organizers hope will dissuade others from choosing the UK to stash their cash. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.